All right, so I know this is a little bit unorthodox, and I know I'm extremely late to this uh, signing, but shout out to the YouTube comment. I don't remember who it was because I had just read it a minute ago, um, but shout out to the YouTube comment that was on my most recent video about the schedule release that commented and told me that we just signed veteran running back slash wide receiver Ty Montgomery. Um, I'd first like to apologize for being gone for a week. I've been doing a lot of things that have pertain to my high school graduation. Uh, I had to get all the clothes ready and get the cap and gown, running up to, forth, from, back and forth to the school. Um, I just went and had my graduation ceremony today, so that's officially out of the way. Um, we're going to be get back, getting back to you know recording videos again, and this is a perfect opportunity. As you can see, I'm out on the water right now. I was actually fishing uh, for the past couple of hours for my graduation because like there's nothing that I like to do better than fishing. Honestly, it's a great way to clear your mind, a way to have fun, all that fun stuff. Sorry for dragging this video out, but I have so much to say because I have really missed talking to you guys. Um, this week break has been hell. Uh, I haven't really been enjoying it much as far as not being able to talk to you guys, but I did get a lot of stuff that I needed to get done in my life done. So now that that's out of the way, I'm back full fledged. We're going back and we're going to really hit this YouTube stuff hard. I'm sorry I'm late on the time Montgomery news. Like I said, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. Didn't have service at the time. It was about an hour or two ago. Really far behind, but I still wanted to share my analysis with you guys so you guys can really see what I think and we can talk about what you guys think as well. So shout out to that. So uh, in my YouTube comment section, my community tab, I quoted or I posted two days ago saying that I'd be back on Saturday and that to expect signings from the New Orleans Saints on Friday. I said, um, and I quote, um, expect the New Orleans Saints to make signings to this team on Friday once New Orleans uh, opens up, but don't take, don't say you uh, heard that from me. It was part of the joke, uh, but they did it. And they, they, exactly like I predicted, they signed a veteran player and that veteran player is none other than the hybrid player, Ty Montgomery. Now this fits just straight in to what the New Orleans Saints have been going after recently. Players that can play multiple positions. Sean Payton is a straight up offensive genius, a offensive guru, somebody that can really go ahead and utilize every single form that a player is capable of. Ty Montgomery can catch passes from Drew Brees and also run the rock. I've heard that we also released Dwayne Washington in this transaction to make room for Ty Montgomery. So uh, Ty Montgomery will actually be our running back three, as far, also working as a receiving threat and somebody that can do dual things out of the backfield. I really like this move. I don't really know the contract details. I don't have the service to look that up right now, but I will make sure to update them in the comment section because I'm sure you guys are already aware of what those contract details are. So let's go over some stats for Ty Montgomery and really see what he's capable of as a football player. So in uh, 2015, he was playing as a wide receiver for the Green Bay Packers, where he had 15 receptions for 136 yards and two touchdowns. Then in 2016, the Green Bay Packers started utilizing him in a dual player role, dual position role, where he was playing running back and wide receiver. He played 15 games in 2016 with 77 rushes, 457 yards, and three touchdowns. He also had... Um, 56 uh, targets, 44 receptions, and 348 receiving yards. That is insane. So he had about 700, 800 combined yards, both on the ground and through the air, and also picked up a couple of rushing touchdowns to go with it. What I see this is as is a pretty much a better receiver version of Alvin Kamara. And I'm not saying Alvin Kamara isn't a great, a great receiver, but he's a running back first, period. He is a running back first. So what Ty Montgomery can do is actually line up on the outside as a physical, pretty good-sized wide receiver that can make plays with his hands. And I'm not talking about just catching little shifty screen passes. This dude can go up and get it. And I'm really excited to see what Sean Payton has in mind for Ty Montgomery because with him picking up, that is obviously a huge sign um, that he's going to, he has a plan for him, that he wants to utilize him in this offense. So in 2017, he played for the Green Bay Packers per usual and played really just a running back role here. He only played eight games, had 71 rushes for 273 yards and three touchdowns. He had 31 targets for 23 receptions, also had 173 receiving yards with a touchdown. In 2018, he played for two teams, Green Bay and Baltimore. In Green Bay, he had, he played seven games, had 26 rushes um, for 105 yards and a touchdown. And he also had, um, let's see, 
15 receptions for 170 yards and no touchdowns. And then in Baltimore that same year, he had 15 rushes for 83 yards. And he also had 17 targets, 10 receptions for 65 yards. So this is something that not only Green Bay tried to utilize, Baltimore also tried to do the same thing. After 2018, he ended up getting released by the Baltimore Ravens or traded. I don't know which one it is. I haven't been able to do a proper amount of research for this video, but I still know enough a little bit about Ty Montgomery to really understand and, and analyze this pickup. Uh, he went to the play for the New York Jets in 2019, where he actually had a pretty okay year for the most part. I mean, he played 16 games. That's one thing that you really want to see from a player is that they can play. Availability is better than ability nine times out of 10, okay? You'd rather have someone that goes in, you know, gets eight catches for 80 yards or eight catches for 60 yards or six catches for 50 yards than um, all 16 games out of the year than somebody who only plays three games but has 200 yards and three touchdowns in each of those games because you know you'll win those games but the rest of the ones where that dude isn't really playing you don't really know how things are going to go in 2019 he played 16 games had 32 rushes for 103 yards and no touchdowns on the ground and then he had 13 receptions for 90 yards through the air and that's about it now what do i what do i think about this pick well he's six foot 216 pounds um i just i like this i do uh, I think it's a very, very, very typical Sean Payton move. I mean, we have Taysom Hill. We went and got Tommy Stevens in the draft, who is someone that could play multi-positions. Um, I think that it really shows what this dude is about as far as getting these players and really trying to, you know, open up more than one role. Uh, he really wants to utilize players in every facet of the offense so that the, the defense never knows what's coming. And I love that about Sean. I love that he is all about taking chances and giving players uh, the chance to play at multiple positions and really try to excel and you really trying to use a player's extremely great athletic gift not only at one position where they're trapped and if they're not having a good day, game there damn you can't do nothing about it no if if say Ty Montgomery's dropping all the passes in the world but when he does catch something he bulldozes three people throw that dude at the running back and let him run the rock Sean Payton is an absolute offensive guru, and it's really interesting to see him work. I like the Ty Montgomery pickup. Uh, it, it, it does suck that we did have to release Dwayne Washington. Um, of course, he's... He was a player that never really had a big impact, but it was always exciting during preseason or during the end of blowouts to see him get out there and truck 74 people at the same time. I think that dude is going to be a really big pickup for somebody, whoever that picks him up, whoever picks him up. So uh, shout out to the New Orleans Saints for giving me some content for the day. I'm sorry, guys, that this is two hours late. I really didn't expect us to do anything like this. Like, of course, the one time I'm out celebrating my graduation, the New Orleans Saints are making moves. Um, I should have expected it because I literally called it two days ago, but I'm not, I'm not seeing any, uh, any contract details. Um, wouldn't be surprised if I signing. Yeah, I, I don't know, but I really like this signing as not really because Ty Montgomery is the most fantastic player of all time. I don't think he's the greatest player. I don't think he's someone that is, you know, capable of starting at any position, but having somebody that can, you know, play good at running back and wide receiver, play consistent enough to be, you know, placed at either position, given the ball, and, you know, can make some opportunities happen. That's nice to see. So let me know down in the comment section below what you think about the New Orleans Saints signing Ty Montgomery. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you okay with it? Let me know. It's always great to see what you guys have to say because you guys say the most interesting stuff sometimes. It really is um, good to see what you guys have to say. So all these... Oh, my girlfriend has been listening to me this whole time. Hey, she's so uncomfortable. But <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. I'm going to be needing your suggestions here soon because we're getting into that dry spell in the off season where everything just absolutely sucks balls and there's nothing to talk about and it's straight doo doo water. Um, it's that June, July month period where. Um, it really does suck. So here's to hoping that we have a football season this year, that we can go to games and stuff. We're going to be doing that week one New Orleans Saints versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers NOS meetup where we all go out. We all get some food before or after the game. We all chat it up, talk, have a good time. Um, but until then, we really have nothing to do but hope that there is an NFL season this year. But I do like the signing by Sean Payton and the New Orleans Saints. I think it shows that Sean Payton is really about them unicorn players that can do 
multiple things. Taysom Hill, Tommy Stevens, Ty Montgomery. That's enough for me to think that he's all on board with that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you boys in the next one. Adios.